You are watching ESA Winter 2019. My name is Lador and you're about to watch Cuphead, All Bosses Regular Legacy. We have our three lovely runners, Kurfar, Kaleva and 2C+. I hope you enjoy this run. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm uh, Tisplas. I'm Kaleva. I'm Kirita. Uh, we're going to race uh, Cuphead almost regular legacy. You probably have seen this in the previous uh, ESA. Kirita actually run it. Uh, but now it's going to be a race, so... Uh, can I read you something before you start? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We got $40 from Tier Tribe. Good luck to 2C and have fun, everyone. Great event. This is from the subs. I couldn't give you 2C, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Tribe. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys are ready, we can start. You can yeah. do the countdown if you want. All right. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> so in uh, the beginning, uh, we're going to collect uh, three uh, coins from uh, an Apple NPC and then enter the first running gun where we're going to collect uh, the remaining five to buy two weapons and then uh, continue with the run. Yeah, we, we only need two weapons in Star of the Run and we don't buy anything else. So this is all the item hoarding we are going to do. Yeah, so starting off we're gonna do this uh, running gun stage to get five coins. Uh, it's actually really hard and uh, one of the hardest stages in the game, we we'll say, out of a speedrunner's perspective. Uh, so we're trying to keep uh, some health left to do a clip later on here that Kalev is coming up on. Yeah, let's see if he gets it. Okay, Sorry. I got it. Uh, so that skips killing the acorn machine. Uh, that say takes some time. So, but I got the clip, so I didn't have to. There we go. This this uh, level is just very reset heavy, and well, I'm r really glad everyone did it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go for the clip, but I didn't get a first try. I, I could have like damage boosted, but I just, you know, just for the sake of the race, uh, I'm just gonna play safe. 39 is one of the best times you can get with killing the machine. Uh, yeah. 33, 34 seconds might be uh, a good time, you know, when you don't kill the machine. Alright. So in this shop, you can actually save a little bit of time by buying the item and then exiting the shop at the same time. So now we're coming up on the first boss, which is Root Pack. Uh, really nothing special about this guy. He's usually just standing uh, still pretty much all the time. And it's got three faces. The first one is the potato. And then here's the onion. Let's kill him before he starts crying. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to talk. Uh, you'll see that there are like a lot of projectiles. And we are basically destroying our controllers right now <laughs> because we are mashing the weapon swap button because in uh, the latest version the weapon swap glitch exists if we have two weapons equipped we can just like uh, mash and then uh, fire the projectile uh, without like having to deal with cooldowns and such yes. yeah I forgot to mention <laughs> yeah so like a machine gun of projectiles against on screen I would say it's the main tech of this category yeah. that you should mention every yeah. time. Mashing, but I, I do have to say that it's not like super fast mashing. It's optimal, I guess it's eight mashes per second, which is quite a lot, but you can get away with seven and have like a pretty, pretty good time. Yeah. So now we're on the second boss here. Uh, didn't get the good attack. This is kind of slow uh, compared to the other attack, which is the firefly attack. Uh, saves you some seconds, but this is fine. See if the other guys get it. Yeah, I got the good pattern uh, with, nice. the uh, with the flies. Uh, if everything goes well, I might get the, the skip. I might not get it here. I'm not sure. I actually got it. Nice. Oh, I got it as well. There yeah. we go. Usually there's like a second phase where, you know, the, the Ribi, I guess, goes to the left side and they do some kind of attacks, but we, we, like I said, you can do a lot of damage and skip that phase. And then uh, in the last phase, you want to lead some specific Lowberry access. Right at the the entrance, I guess, of a uh, slot machine. At least we do one in the beginning because it's like quite easy, and um, that actually deals double damage uh, because uh, it lands on the enemy and then it has like a splashing animation that uh, damages the boss again an additional time. I do have to say, EX stands as like the powerful attack with the weapon that we have, 
Yeah, or a yeah. special projectile. Yeah, special projectile, I guess it makes yeah. sense. How about those double damage lobber EXs? Uh, I would say that the most recent optimization for this category is so-called counted swaps. So you always get the... You, you are really mashing fast all the time, but you are always getting the lobber EX still. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I'm old school, I just mash. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do it th in this boss, so you may see it really soon. Yeah, if you do that, optimally, you can get like a really fast goopy. There's okay. like, usually, I mean, we still get a fast goopy, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, you can actually kill goopy before the third phase even begins. And that looks like a little bit weird. Uh, but yeah, all of us like got a pretty decent fight, uh, nevertheless. Like 22, 23, and I think I got 24, which is not that great. Can I read a quick donation here? Yep, yeah, sure, go ahead. We got $200 from irregular Ooh. programming. Oh, I heard there would be dabs at 30k. <laughs> nice, dude, that's awesome. That's quite a little one. <laughs> also, another thing to mention, we have reached $29,000. Hey, let's Whoa. go. There we go. That's hype. All right, so we're coming up on uh, the first plane boss level, uh, or the first plane boss. Uh, we're gonna try to do a very hard glitch here, uh, which we need to deal a uh, very precise amount of damage. Uh, so first I'm gonna damage boost here and do a miss. -a. Whoops. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Dodge that and then keep dealing damage and not take damage. Th that's bad. So I'm gonna miss this. So yeah, we basically take those uh, damage. Uh that damage like uh, on purpose to line ourselves really well to do that uh, EX. Uh, on the airplane levels you do like a missile, you shoot a missile and that actually connects a lot of time if you do oh, that. That's really unfortunate. Oh. So that can sometimes happen, that weird uh, roundabout thingy, it can sp spawn right on you. So that was just stupidly unfortunate but yep. it happens. Yeah, death uh, usually costs, it depends I guess on when you die, in this situation for Kaleva I think it costs about 30 seconds. Yes, something like that. So I have catching up to do. Okay, these stars stop nice to me. Yeah, Cuphead is a little bit of a difficult game. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, if, you, if you've done this like a billion times like we've done, oh, uh, wow. it looks pretty alright. <laughs> this is just not good right now. It's alright, you have time to catch up. Like in a race, a carpet, anything can happen because, uh, as we say, like a death actually costs a lot of time, I guess, depending on where you die. Usually, in Legacy, though, you die on the last phases of the bosses. So, uh, there's nothing, it's, the race is not done until you actually knock out the devil, you beat the final boss. Did anyone get the Hilda glitch, by the way? Uh, no. no. Alright, I still have time to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like this is uh, it's what I'm trying to do here, right? Yeah, exactly. Can I read so donation? we can maybe see it here. Nope. Alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah One ahead. more time. Okay. Right, yeah. I'm One more yeah. Sorry. I'm just getting uh, trolled uh, here uh, at this point. Good. But okay. Sorry for that. But we got fifty dollars from Close End. Cheers to all runners, hosts, and volunteers making this such a lovely and fun event. Yeah. So, Kagan Incarnation is uh, definitely like a, a difficult boss, I guess, for a casual playthrough. Uh, but in Legacy, you just like deal so much damage. It's like the boss is done within 26, uh, 24, 26 seconds. Uh, well, it doesn't really look that difficult. Which, well, to be honest, it's not that difficult. Uh, the airplane fights later on become a little bit more difficult in Legacy and getting specific glitches. So that's like the uh, the turning point. Also, like a little bit of extra optimization. Like you saw Keith, uh, for example, getting a way better fight in Cagney. So you know, overall, he has like better wow. fights. So he's far ahead for me. Yeah. Yeah, we entered the uh, aisle two. Yeah, so now we're going up against Baroness from Bomb Bomb. Uh, it's pretty much an RNG heavy uh, boss where you beat these uh, like uh, mini bosses. That's the first one, Jawbreaker. You don't want to get that one because the death animation is so long. All right, uh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> That took a while. Yeah, you kill three out of five uh, mini bosses. Uh, there's like a gauntlet, I guess uh, you can see, uh, and then uh, you fight Baroness uh, herself. Oh, nice! I got the, I got a quick quick kill there on the Gabon machine. If I hadn't killed him like half a second 
If I kill him half a second later, he would have turned around, even though he was dead, he was gonna turn around, run across the stage and then back out again, and that delays the the next phase a lot, so yeah. you don't want that to happen. So like, thankfully I got the quick kill. Yeah, you see, I didn't get the quick kill, so I lost about a second and a half there compared to Kitha. And uh, you can see like so much damage that Barnes doesn't even start the last phase again. Uh, funny fact though, in current patch, uh, you'll see later, you can do the same thing. You can kill Barnes as fast, I guess. Oh, no, as fast, because weapon is probably a little bit OP. But uh, you can get uh, the kill before Barnes actually moves. Yeah, so I just got a dual weapon for uh, uh, plane levels. So it's the mini bomb, which you can see I'm not spamming the weapon swap. I'm more like uh, hitting it in the rhythm because the the fire rate of the bomb is way slower than the weapons that we normally use. Uh, so this is to optimize damage more, to uh, shoot more regular bullets in between the bombs. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit different. Yeah, airplane fights are difficult with mini bombs because you uh, are really close to the boss and uh, airplane levels in Cuphead are uh, bullet hell kind of, I guess you can say. So it's like kind of difficult to dodge everything, like uh, finish the fight without getting hit, I guess, or surviving, which is like the most important thing. All right. Uh, really cool, like, uh, pause buffer right there to trigger the last phase uh, for some reason. I don't know exactly, but uh, if you do that pause buffer, you, you trigger the last phase faster. Yeah. Uh, so now we're coming against come up against uh, Jimmy, uh, the genie. Um, so this is the first example of some uh, off-screen hitbox shenanigans. So I'm gonna go down here and drop bombs, which may look stupid, but actually I'm hitting an off-screen hitbox right below here. So I'm dealing damage with these uh, bombs. Uh, and now I'm gonna keep doing it because this is, uh, this is gonna enable me to deal enough damage to like get the last uh, get this next. Ah. Yeah, you kill two phases basically. A phase, I guess, before it actually begins. You're, so you lock the boss in that sarcophagus phase. Uh, it can be kind of scary because uh, uh, the sarcophagus phase has like some ghosts uh, spawning, and that is a little bit based on RNG. So you want to stay in the on the face of Jimmy. So <laughs> you can understand that that is a little bit uh, scary. All right. Yeah, exactly. There are normally like uh, two more phases after this one, but since I dealt so much damage in the last phase, uh, to kill the the sarcophagus phase, you could say, uh, he gets stuck in that phase, and then you can kill him, uh, which saves a lot of time because there's some transitions where you can't deal any damage to him, which makes the fight slower. Yeah. Also, I need to mention that uh, if you stay like right there in front of uh, Jimmy's face. Those like UFOs, I don't know exactly what they are, they're like mini planets I guess with eyes, uh, don't hurt you. So that's like why you choose that position. It's better to just stay there instead of like uh, waiting, or, yeah, waiting a little bit behind to kill the ghosts. Alright, there's a really, really amazing glitch that Kirsha just got. You see like a lot of explosions uh, going on. He killed two phases into one, and uh, for some reason uh, the game uh, thinks that the boss is kind of dead and it triggers all the death animations pretty much at the same time. There. You, so you can see the, the second and the third phase death animation, and you can still hit the boss. So Kirtha killed the fight uh, in like 32, I would guess, 32 seconds, I'll say, yeah. uh, without like dealing with the last phase, which he did, but it wasn't really on screen. Yeah, skipping those two last phases on Beppy is really important because there's like there's a really long animation where you can't do am damage at all. So if you can get that glitch, it's gonna be really fast compared to the original fight. Yeah, it's, it's without the glitch. Exactly. Another glitch that works exactly the same way. That's like basically how Cuphead in Legacy works. Uh, you know, you kill one phase. Uh, extra I guess, the way you were not supposed to, and something weird happens on the boss. Uh, and that happens on Green Matchstick as well. Uh, that doesn't make the fight faster necessarily, it makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to deal with the third phase. But there are like some workarounds I guess. Here's I got a really nice pattern from what I see, so he will probably get the glitch yeah, right know. now. So you see right now he killed uh, the second phase before he even begun. 
so the boss is stuck in that animation by then. And kind of, I guess, a nice kill there on uh, Jimmy. Oh my, okay, you know what? I'll really try that. That wasn't good. I'm trying, trying to hang around here. Alright. Yeah, the uh, dragon fight uh, for many people in casual playthrough caused a lot of trouble. Uh, in speedrunning, is not that difficult. Even like in current patches, it, it used to be a little bit dif more difficult, but now with like newer routes, uh, you'll see Kaleva like dealing with uh, uh, the dragon in the current patch. Uh, things are not that uh, difficult, I guess. Low percent. Okay, low percent might actually be <laughs> a little bit scary. Or roundabout, I guess. Okay, another thing that I did right there was uh, I didn't get the glitch, but I stood uh, before, behind the neck of the dragon, and there's no hurtbox there. So you can like stand there. The, the issue, I guess, with that is that if you don't get the proper clouds, because uh, at one point I think they become RNG spawn, you might fall down and die, basically, because there's no floor in that level. But can I get some B yourselves there for Kirthar? Uh, did he get the pattern? No, he no, did not. No, I did not. Okay. So there's a 33% chance that you'll get the good pattern there. That's like the only part of the game, I would say, that there's like a major uh, oh. time save based on... Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, on a pattern, an RNG pattern. I believe there, there is one in the late game, but oh, let's yeah. talk about that one later. Yeah, let's not talk about that at all, actually. I don't want anyone to get that. <laughs> Okay, there's actually two. All right. I think about it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's one more. You're right. So two. Let's see if two so you can get a good pattern. It's all based on skill. Right. So while well, two C is. Hey. Uh, oh, he got it. Nice. Let's uh, see if I get the execution though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while well, two C is getting the quick kill, I'm presuming. Uh, I'm going over to the uh, the robot, which uh, this. I'm gonna do a very special quick kill here, so uh, it's pretty hard to explain, but anyway, it's really fast, so don't blink. This is the fastest uh, fight in the whole here. game. <laughs> Wait. Okay, well. Oof, but I didn't get it, uh, so I had to retry. Yeah. It's way faster than doing the fight uh, normally. Yeah, uh, that glitch actually kills the boss immediately. Uh, it's better to reset that to try again for the glitch. Maybe twice might be worth it. Otherwise, okay, it's I not. Got it. But yeah, he got the glitch. You can see that he killed Doctor Cars robot in 15 seconds, which is like insane. Uh, I don't know exactly how that glitch works. It's just like a lot of damage. Like uh, I remember we used like the debugger to analyze like the HP values to that one, but a lot of stuff, honestly. It didn't make sense to be. <laughs> yeah, it's not. A lot of things don't make oh, sense. I didn't get it. It's right. a little bit them. about <laughs> bombs. Ex is doing massive damage by each projectile. Yeah, probably. The heart. And it just overrides the health of the robot. And like if you get a, yeah, if you get a consistent swaps, like okay, I got it now. It was like more consistent. Yes. You can like get it the glitch uh, fairly easily, I guess. Uh, I guess I missed up some swaps. Uh, that's like the difficult part, I guess, in the airplane levels. If you miss one uh, double tap, I guess, for the weapon swap in airplane levels, the whole thing messes up. So you have to like either fix it immediately or, I guess, uh, deal with it for like <laughs> quite a long time because you know a lot of times you don't have enough time to pay attention to that. All right. So side stage. Wait, wow, that was actually. You're really far ahead. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even have time to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, so Sally Stage Play is actually not that uh, weird. There's like a hidden hitbox and that's it. Uh, the rest of the fight is like fairly uh, simple, I guess. Uh, this is like the hitbox I was talking about. You can like hit it upwards. Uh, you can like hurt the boss up there. Only with roundabout, by the way. The green boomerang. Or is it green or yellow? I don't know. It's green, I guess. Yeah. That's one of the easier bosses in this game. Um, yeah. So I'm moving up against an even easier boss, uh, Werner Berman. Not really anything special to say about this guy. Uh, yeah, Werner is... Not really, there are some runners that do it extremely fast. Yeah, this 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 is a really well-optimized fight. Uh, yeah. I'm not doing a good job, yeah. but... I talked about the counted swaps earlier. They are really useful in this fight if you can actually execute them really well. True. There's like... 
Only one runner who does those. Yeah, this runner is actually working on uh, taking down the world record right now, which is absolutely insane, by the way. 23 minutes and 25 seconds uh, loadless, uh, because that's like the official time that we use. Um, uh, by SPD Wolf and uh, yeah, uh, these guys are actually working towards the sub 23, which like a year ago, we weren't even thinking about the sub uh, 24. <laughs> Uh, 25, I guess, was like a dream for many people, funny enough. Alright, All right, so I'm moving up against Captain Brian a bit here. Uh, this is my probably my least favorite boss. Uh, there's a bunch of RNG uh, around his attacks. Like, he always shoots his uh, discount first, which is nice. Easy to dodge, but now he can either summon like a sea creature or something, but he chooses to shoot me instead, which is not nice, but it's uh, still fine. I can manage this. Alright. So now I'm gonna kill him before the laser comes out. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, last phase is uh, fairly decent. Uh, you can get like the this the kill before the laser happens, usually if you guys remember a uh, casual playthrough, I suppose. Uh, he fires like a laser. You'll see later in current patch because I don't think you have enough damage to kill it before the laser. You have it, actually. Oh, you Lob have. Lobber right. is a really pow powerful weapon, and you can hit him really I nicely see. with that. Yeah, you'll see later the differences between legacy and current patch. Uh, Kaleva is going to showcase that. All right. And uh, yeah, <laughs> probably the hardest ever playing boss fight for Kirtha right now. Let's see how he deals uh, with it. What for me? Yeah. This is easy. Oh, watch this. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm looking. Oh. Alright, this is fine. I'm gonna play really risky now. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get my 5 cards before she's done with this attack. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if I stay close enough here, I don't get hit by the stone gaze, which is nice. Yeah. I took that out of uh, current patch. Whoa, okay, that was a bad damage. I have to watch out for these uh, uh, spike pillars. Wow. That was like uh, flashbacks from me, say something. <laughs> yeah. So you have to keep a lookout for those because they come out right behind your head. Uh, or, well, through your head, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm not gonna go for this. This is really risky. Yeah. One well, thing that uh, both Kaleva and Kirthara are doing in airplane levels is called the uh, Luigi Swap. Um, it's by Luigi, that's why we call it like that. Uh, you can actually shoot a missile uh, like that EX, airplane EX, while uh, you shoot. While you can. No, while you shoot that EX, you can actually shoot the missile, sorry. Uh, and that's like a, a frame perfect. Thing that you have to do like switch and throw the EX which is really difficult I want to be honest with you I haven't gotten it once and I tried like a billion times I gave up though. so yeah, pe hands. fortunately enough you don't really need those in legacy they are really useful but yeah. they turn out to be like extremely useful in current patch later on yeah, the good thing about it is the fact that you can do a lot of damage to the boss and you don't have to use the big nuke uh, you know where you get five cards of damage you can use the big nuke uh, that is like it's a powerful attack but it wastes about 1.5 seconds uh, to you know trigger the animation of the you know creating the bomb and stuff uh, so you know uh, Luigi swaps actually save that time and you can still like deal a lot of damage uh, this is by far the most complicated fight. Yeah, curious yeah. how you can talk about it. So yeah, uh, first of all, this is not a really anything special about this first phase. You just kill the phantom. Uh, here comes the skeleton. Uh, we should be able to one cycle this guy pretty easily, like that. Uh, here comes the more technical part of the fight. Uh, I'm gonna face two twin ghost lollipops or something. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill them both at the same time. Oh, whoops. Alright, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that was okay. Uh, so, now we come up at the last phase. Uh, thankfully, I have one health, to, uh, well, two health, and so I can take one hit here, which, because that's really good to have. 
Uh, because this is really scary. There's a lot of stuff coming at you. And there we go. Nice. There's a lot of fireballs coming out there and then yeah. bomb wins or anything. That's really scary. Like being 1 HP on that last pay is the worst. Yeah. Yes. I play that way safer though. Uh, fireballs are a little bit uh, RNG based, I guess. Uh, usually they don't hurt you, to be honest. They go like a little bit higher and they make like a weird arc, but uh, it's, it's good. Did you mention, by the way, that you can actually soft lock the Calamaria? Oh, true, yeah. Uh, I actually didn't mention that. Yeah, like if you deal too much damage in the first phase, like it usually happens when you kind of miss some shots in the like first two attacks and then he, she uh, pulls the third attack and then if you don't really watch your damage you're gonna get the soft block. Alright, so now I'm at the King Dice fight, which is the second to last fight. This is like a board game that you have to play. You have to roll the dice to move across the board and every spot you land on you have to fight the boss. Or a mini boss. Mini boss. Whoops. Yep. I need to mention, uh, yeah, it's called all bosses, uh, it, we don't kill the mini bosses, uh, that's like what the community desire, like, pretty much at the beginning of uh, creating the categories, I guess, like, these, call, these are like mini bosses, I guess, uh, a lot of people confuse that, to be honest, I would have been confused as well, um, but yeah, I need to clarify that they are specifically mini bosses, I guess. Yeah, yeah it would make sense, I, I suppose, to kill them all, but... Yeah, no. I think it was like, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this category used to be named any percent good ending. So they took like the rules from any percent good ending, I guess, and they made it all bosses because that's how you beat the game, basically. You have to like defeat all the bosses. It's like necessary. But yeah, you, c you can get the bad ending, I guess, if you side with the devil. Yeah, so now we're moving up on the last mini boss that we have to face here, uh, which is the monkey. Uh, usually, when you kill the monkey, or when you when you fight the monkey, you have to play a game of memory. Uh, you have to match two cards to uh, be able to deal damage to him. But we're not gonna do that. That's really slow. So we're gonna try and uh, kill him by doing a kind of special glitch here. So if I to get two cards here, I get it to stop next to the left side. Oh, that didn't do it. That was really late. Okay, let's try again. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, oh, I have this guy. Okay, I have issues as well. Yeah, like getting that glitch. If you miss it once, the monkey speed is gonna. Okay, I think it's gonna get go. higher, much higher. Bye, monkey. Okay, and we are really close, Krita. <laughs> yeah, so you get him to stop near near the the right to left side, and you scroll. You move to the other side to make the scroll, uh, the the screen scroll, and which makes him out of bounds, uh, and then. He doesn't know where to go, he just goes out of the screen and then dies, pretty much. Oops. Yeah, we have HP, so we're gonna like damage boost on the cards. Uh, for at least we get a knockout here on the, the king dies. And we are approaching the finale now of the run, the final boss, the devil. Uh, we're getting the good ending, uh, we're not gonna give the contracts. Uh, I guess we didn't tell by the story, but yeah, the devil, we lost a bet to the devil and now we have to beat all the bosses to collect their souls, their soul contracts, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna give him to the devil, we're actually instead gonna fight him. So, <laughs> alright, so we're really close. We're really close. Let's you're, see how this goes. You're like one or two seconds ahead of me. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so the final boss hangs, uh, has like a... The first phase is the most difficult one, and then the, the, the rest is like pretty easy. Oh wow, okay, this is the worst attack of all. It wastes a lot of time because you can't hit him uh, when he's in his spider attack phase. Uh, I got the spider awesome. as well. Okay, that's good. No, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's really bad. Alright, so yeah, this is the one pattern that Caliber was talking about. Uh, you know, RNG. Yes. Oh, I got five cycles as well. Uh, this is not looking that great. Uh, but with this pattern, you cannot deal a lot of damage, so unfortunately, you're gonna have to lose a lot of time. Um, yeah, get really, back here. really okay. nice uh, post buffer there to actually shoot. Oh, I didn't get it actually too early. To shoot before, uh, like, uh, you fall down there. Right. There we go. There we go. Time for me. Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> nice one. Jesus, and yeah, time for me as well. Wait, I. No, Kalaba got my time. 
<laughs> Alright, it's, it's messed up kinda. Alright. I'll give it a win. Oh, we have the same on the screen. Which is fun, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so that was the like Cuphead All Bosses uh, regular legacy. It's uh, by far the most uh, competitive category in Cuphead speedrunning. Uh, it has been around from like the beginning and uh, people have been, uh, you know, uh, optimizing to the limits even till this day. Uh, I highly believe that we're going to get a sub-23 load this time. Yeah, people are, all, are already talking about it. Yep. Yeah. Quite a lot. Alright, but the race is not done. Colorwise on the devil. Yeah, trying to finish up. Maybe I don't get the spider. That would be a nice ending. Yeah, probably. That would be nice. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, so uh, think, uh, I'd like uh, to thank uh, everyone for watching and, uh, you know, uh, ESA for, you know, giving me the chance to, you know, spe uh, speed on like all the games that I did uh, this week. Uh, it was like really fun. This is my first ESA, so uh, it was like a really good experience. It was really nice to, you know, race against Kirtha and Kaleva up close as well. Okay, so last phase is there for Kaleva. Even with 1 HP, if he makes some clutch dodges, he can make it. Uh, he didn't get the spawn from the purple guys, and oh time guys. there for Kaleva as well. Oops. Oops. Yeah, so we recently had a, a tournament as well. Uh, we did really well in the tournament, like second, third and fourth. We are like top four, and uh, yeah, Kirtar actually got his revenge today. He yes. finally beat me in a race. <laughs> finally, first time. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, uh, that was uh, Legacy, and uh, Kaleva is going to be back shortly for uh, yes. the current patch run. Yeah, Thank you. Tuned. All right, thank you very much for that Cuphead race. While we set up for the next Cuphead run, we'll just uh, quickly blast through some donations and see if we can get to that 30K. So yeah, do you want to go first, Meryl? Which one did you want? Oh, I'll read, okay. Uh, top My EU, AKA the VK. Top May EU, top, oh, May. I already, Have you I've never already played Overwatch? It. I've already buggered it. Uh, they donated $5. Uh, the event's been a real blast. Thanks for having me with you on this one, fellas. Yeah, thanks, VK, for all your great runs and everything. Oh, you're in front of me, dude. There you are. Yeah, Thank you, VK. It's May from Overwatch, right? Yeah, of okay. course. Oh, okay. oh, Josh, come oh, on. You can do the next one, then. Okay. Smart. Oh, no, 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 you can do it. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. What is this name? It... No, I'm the top one. It, oh, it's BTH, it's BTH uh, donated $32. Said, uh, recovering from a cold, hoped to catch up on a bunch of series, but this is so much better. Nice. Thanks for $32. Thank you, it's BTH. Uh, we've got Peter OTH donating 25 saying, great event again. Uh, well done to all who contributed to making this winter ESA so enjoyable to watch. Looking forward to summer. Choo, choo. Apparently it's my turn, yeah. We have $10 from Nova Aura. This is a really inspiring me to get into speedrun marathons myself. Thanks for such a great race of Cuphead. Let's finish strong, everyone. We had a $5 anonymous donation, someone joining the train. Thank you, anonymous. And we are currently at $29,209 raised for Save the Children, who are celebrating their 100th year anniversary. And do you guys think we can reach 30k for the finale? We could do it. We can try. We can try. So we're currently reading some donations while we're setting up. And here's another one. Um, Wartab donated $50 saying dab. Someone in the audience, anybody? Wait, oh, hey. dang, dang, nice. We also have a dab by promised by Wired Wiki when we reach the 30k, if we reach 30k. And we uh, got $25 from Raven, 
saying, thank you for this great event. Loved watching every minute of it. We have $20 from Super Kicks. I like to travel first class, Kappa. Yeah, the first class tickets are $20 apparently for the train. Oh, really? Wow. Josh, you want to read the next right. one? Live your dream. Donated five dollars. All aboard to the twenty k station. A thirty k station. Twenty k. Oh god damn it. Oh, it's okay. Thirty k <laughs> station. Boarding now. Tickets five dollar and up. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. We didn't even plan that. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> also, go live your dream. Less than three. Aww. Aww. Thank you, everybody who has been donating. Um, Definitely keep them coming. We're so close to 30K now. How, how far in are we? 29,209, which leaves us... Oh, you look at me. Yeah. $791. We can do it, guys and girls in the chat. Pog. $10 from Anonymous. 30K, let's go. All right, and then we have Dennis... 1080 donating ten dollars. Thank you so much, Dennis. And then, uh, oh, why do I get the hard names? Loki Duan donated ten dollars, saying, "Come on, you guys, shovel that coal." Choo 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 choo. <laughs> I'd also like to take a minute to say to everybody at home, if you cannot donate, uh, but you still want to support the event and help make ESA better. Do consider uh, dropping your Twitch Prime sub if you have one. It definitely goes into making the uh, summer and winter future events into better events. So yeah, thank you everybody. Another thing that has not actually been mentioned on stream yet, but has been in the chat, is during the Cuphead block here, we have an amazing perler by Star Kicks. Uh, for everyone who's donating, has a chance of winning that so any do donation about five dollars is entered into the raffle all right one last donation before we move on to the run we got a uh, worm donated ten dollars, saying it's beautiful that he doesn't know anything about Overwatch. Stay pure, my man. Uh, thanks, I guess. All right, so yeah, coming up is the final run of the marathon. It's Cuphead, all bosses, regular current patch. A quick donation. Anonymous donated five, saying for the kids. Choo choo. Thank you.
Let's right back. Yeah. 